Vistalux Collection 4-Way Intersection Steel Mullion Assembly Guide. For instructional purposes, this video only shows the mechanical assembly of structural steel molds for Vistalux Collection casements and direct sets. For infield assembly, full installation instructions, including sealant application procedures and safety precautions, must be followed. This demonstration shows a Vistalux factory steel mole unit installed next to a field steel mole assembly. Prior to beginning installation, verify the rough opening has been properly sized for the units and anchors intended to go into the rough opening. For the purposes of this demonstration, each window unit is labeled sequentially in the order in which it is installed. Units 1 and 2 have been molded at the factory. Units 3 and 4 are separate and will be molded in the field. Factory steel mold installation units 1 and 2. Install a 3S plate, steel plate, and pin to the opening side of units 1 and 2. Attach the installation clips. Refer to the installation instructions for proper placement and quantity. The installation clips should point toward the interior of the assembly. Here's a tip. Slightly bend the installation clips toward the interior of the unit to make inserting the unit easier. Refer to the installation instructions for proper anchor placement. Here's a tip. Draw a line on the center of the anchor plate to assist in finding correct placement. The slotted screws must go toward the first unit being installed. Here's a tip. Shims were installed on a level sill plate along with the anchor plate and matched the height of the anchor plate. Find the location of the vertical anchor plate and install it on the rough opening. Install the plate high enough to insert the unit. Find a location for the top anchor plate and install it on the head of the rough opening. Prepare units 1 and 2 by removing all packaging. Check the mating corners to make sure they are square. Here's a tip. If the mating corners are not square, use a wood rasp to shave them down until they are sufficiently square. Insert the factory steel mole unit into the rough opening according to the installation instructions. Make sure the unit is level, plumb, and square. Temporarily secure the unit through the nail fin. Shim behind the installation clips and secure it to the rough opening. Shim behind the 3S plate and secure it to the rough opening. Before fastening the anchor plates, make sure the 3 quarter inch connecting pins are tight to the unit. Finish fastening the anchor plates to the rough opening using the screws specified in the installation instructions. Steel Stiffener Installation Here's a tip. Draw a line along the screw groove on the jam to help with visual alignment. Test fit the steel stiffener by aligning the holes with the line drawn in the previous step. The slot in the steel should fit over the pin. The pin should be flush with the steel. Apply silicone to the mole side of units 1 and 2 according to the installation instructions. Place the steel stiffener, making sure to align the holes with the screw groove line drawn in the previous steps. Secure the steel to the side jam using the screws specified in the instructions in the countersunk holes only. At this point, it is important to have the interior stops removed. Here's a tip. Label the stops as they are removed so that they will be installed in the correct positions later. Using the steel as a template, drill completely through the remaining holes of the assembly using a 532nd inch drill bit. Field steel mole installation units 3 and 4. Prepare unit 3 by removing packaging and checking the mating corners. Attach the installation clips to Unit 3 according to the installation instructions. 
Apply silicone to the steel stiffener according to installation instructions on Unit 1 only. Insert Unit 3 into the opening next to Unit 1. Make sure the unit is level, plumb, and square. Temporarily secure the unit through the nail fin. Make sure the exterior planes between units 1 and 3 are flush. Notice that on the interior planes, the steel stiffener will protrude past the base frame. Here's a tip. Draw a line on the screw groove of unit 3 to help line up the steel stiffener. Silicone and insert the connecting pin through the vertical steel plate according to the installation instructions. If needed, tap the vertical anchor plate into position, ensuring the anchor pin is tight against the frame. Finish fastening the anchor plates using the screws specified in the installation instructions. Apply silicone to the top of Unit 3 according to the installation instructions. Place the steel stiffener on top of Unit 3, making sure the connecting pins are secure with the steel slot. Secure the steel stiffener to the top of Unit 3 using the screws specified in the instructions into the countersunk holes only. With the stops removed, drill through the remaining holes of the assembly using a 532nd inch drill bit using the steel as a template. Prepare Unit 4 by removing all packaging. Check the mating corners to make sure they are square. Apply silicone to the steel frame on top of Unit 3 and to the side of Unit 2 according to the installation instructions. Insert Unit 4 into the remaining space. Once Units 3 and 4 are aligned, clamp the units together tightly. The units are aligned when the exterior moles are flush. Clamp and attach Units 4 to Units 3 and 2 using screws through the holes made in the previous steps. Attention, do not over tighten these screws as this may deform the jam. Complete securing the units to the rough opening according to the installation instructions. Mole cover installation. If needed, verify the part length. Remove all shipping protectors prior to installing mole covers. Apply silicone to the head of the unit for the drip cap and mole joint. Install the pre-cut head drip cap and tap into the accessory groove with the rubber mallet. Apply silicone to the joint inside the gap according to the installation instructions. Insert the vertical mole cover and tap into place with a rubber mallet. Insert the horizontal mole covers and tap into place with a rubber mallet. Cut a notch on the vertical mole cover to accommodate the steel stiffener. Gently tap the vertical mole cover into place with a padded block and a rubber mallet. Gently tap the horizontal mole cover into place with a padded block and a rubber mallet. Reinstall the stops by inserting them into their original positions and then gently tapping them into place. If extension jams are needed, they must be notched in the same manner as the vertical mole cover. Insert the extension jams with a rubber mallet. Fasten the ends of the extension jams together according to the installation instructions. The window unit is now ready for flashing and sealant procedures.